Welcome to Wimbledon for women's quarterfinal day and after some one-sided fourth round matches the tournament is poised to come alight. All the final eight won through in straight sets but now the stakes are considerably higher and once again there's plenty of Australian interest. 17 year old Sydney sider Yelena Dokic takes on Marwi Cerner. Defending champion Lindsay Davenport does battle with Monica Seles. Martina Hingis continues her growing rivalry with Venus Williams who's hoping to set up a semi-final showdown with younger sister Serena. For Dokic, it's been another roller coaster ride off the court, but on court, she's letting her racket do the talking. The world number 30 is yet to lose a set in the tournament, but unlike last year when she beat Martina Hingis and Mary Pierce, Dokic hasn't yet met a seeded player. This year, it was Cerner's turn to eliminate Pierce, but Dokic has the psychological advantage having won the only meeting between the pair on clay in Cairo. It's now the Cerner to serve, first set. Love fifteen. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Slice kept it very low indeed on what is the uh, thought to be the quickest, the quicker really of the show courts. Let's first serve. And that was a bad 40, miss from 30. Maui Cerner. She opened up the court very, very well with some excellent drives into the forehand corner of her opponent, but missed the easy one. Turner. Opening game nicely finished off. First game. Good serve that took uh, Elena Dokic out uh, wide and then uh, put the ball from whence she came. And uh, I would have thought, Anne, this is the least predictable of the uh, four quarterfinals. Yes, I know in the head to head that Elena won very easily 6 love 6 1. But I think here at Wimbledon it will be very close. 15 love. Maui Serna has more of a grass court game, but she needs to be accurate with it. <laughs> 30 love. Forty love. Oh. 
game. Miss Stockage. One game all, first set. Good, solid opening uh, service game for Yelena Dokic. Four years the younger. But uh, the higher ranked of the two. Love 15. Love 30. And again, Serna showing all the attributes of a grass court player, the slice, the serve and volley, but uh, none of them very sick, working very well at the moment. Let's first serve. Love 40. In that time it was the Dockage return of serve that forced the error. She really is solid on both wings, so it's difficult to know where to serve to her, forehand or backhand. Let's first serve. Certainly the more tense of the two. I think it's showing in what we're seeing. Game, Miss Stockage. Miss Stockage leads two games to one, first set. So, two love games for Yelena Dokic. Puts her in the driving seat. Because this was the young lady, according to the WTA, caused the greatest upset of all time in the women's professional game. I suppose that's fair enough, because she was down at 129, beat the number one ranked player 12 months ago, Martina Hingis. And it's been difficult for her to live with that, hasn't it? Yes, I think it has. I think, in actual fact, I think she's coped very well. She hasn't had a particularly good season, but uh, I think that was to be expected. After all, she missed the whole development area, really, jumping from qualifying uh, straight up into championship level. And so she's maintained it quite well. But her game hasn't really changed very much. It may be a little tiny bit more secure. The serve is a little better, the forehand a little more powerful, and the backhand. But uh, she hasn't really grown in stature but she has consolidated and she is only 17. And talking about growing in stature, interesting there that Serna was not going to be hurried by Dokic. Let's first serve. Australian was out extremely quickly and Serna took the full time allowed. Love 15. Confident or foolhardy, take your choice. She was quite deep when she played it. 15 all. Dockage would have scrambled to make it.
15.30. And there's that heavy slice again. It uh, does disrupt the youngster's rhythm. She's intelligent. She'll get used to it, I think. Yelena Dockett is very calm in a crisis. Here she sees exactly which way, waits for her opponent to commit herself, and then calmly hits the ball into the open space. This is a lovely left-handed forehand down the line. The more difficult of the shots. Plenty of topspin to keep control. Break back point. Deuce. Rather quieter on uh, number one court after the uh, blitz of the previous quarterfinal. Dockage. And that was relentless driving from Dockage, from corner to corner. It's almost as though Marvi Cerner prefers it when somebody brings the game to her. The drop shot brought her in, and there, this time, she produces a perfect volley. A couple of inches from the net makes such a lot of difference when you're close. And there's the variety from Cerner, the heavy top Advantage spin from the backhand wing this time. Caught her opponent by surprise. Second chance to make up for dropping her own serve. Deuce. Well, quite an interesting contest in prospect here on the evidence of uh, the opening four games. He was uh, a little lucky then with the second one. Mm. Just a slight slip. Advantage, Miss Dockage. Miss Dockage Ms. leads three games to one, first set. Well, opportunities not taken. And uh, interesting to see how much she's prepared 
to gamble. The feeling is that she might have to gamble a little. She's to take this. 15 love. As you were saying, Anne, she seems to have the grass court game. It's a question of whether she can put it all together and make this match to her style. Fifteen all. Let's first serve. Good turn of speed on that particular service. Needs plenty of variety to break down the ground strokes of her opponent. sort of style I think she's going to have to adopt but so easy to say it's definitely the style she's got to adopt Barry but it's a question really of whether she can uh, keep it up as that is perfect grass court tennis there she is moves into position moving forward all the time into the volley and fades the racket underneath it for the stop volley Game Miss Cerner. Miss Dokic leads three games to two, first set. And an important game for Cerner, otherwise, this young lady might have begun to run away with it. And uh, there, Marwi Cerner, she was playing uh, Jennifer Capriati in the third round in Birmingham, and you can see how. The left ankle is heavily strapped here. She fell over in that match and sprained that ankle. Time. And we really didn't think she'd be fit to play at Wimbledon. But it doesn't seem to be troubling her at all. She's recovered remarkably. And you can see how what a perfect balance she keeps. Strong legs, moves well. And here sees her opportunity to get to the net. Comes in, still moving well and into the ball and plays that perfect faded volley. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Forty fifteen.
40-30. Yelena forced to stretch for that one, and then there's no reply. Cerner taking that ball at the top of its bounce, and it was a very easy put away for her. Game the Stockage. The Stockage leads four games to two, first set. Cerner not, ret Cerner not returning the serve terribly well. Love 15. 